guys welcome back to my channel my name is Cop Queen and today I want to start with a new project a design team project for Victoria design so let me first show you the papers I just printed out so it's a, the brand new uh, collection pack it's a big pack and um, it's called library and uh, well I printed it all out some double but the most of all uh, just one so let me just dig in real quick before I start this project um, so this is um, really f this is one of my favorite uh, pieces of this kit it really got loads of nice uh, elements and, and words that you can cut out I really love that and this pack includes a ton of nice cards in it and backgrounds I suppose I should have printed this on the back but I forgot I printed this all out but I can glue them down on the back so it gives the card a nice sturdy look then look at these tags and you also can print it out on the same background as this so I keep them together and this is oh this is pretty much the same but then with not this round in front of it look at this gorgeous I hope I can see you all but really I don't want to zoom it out because otherwise you it's too far but gosh I love this and it's a really a library team of course and just dig in this is the papers look one in color and one in sepia color amazing nice old tags nice backgrounds to use you see some I pointed out a double I think I want to use those more and these are just the journaling pages very easy to fold these in two look at this really awesome I have something in mind to do with it so I am anxious to start but I just wanted to show you first how everything is these are pretty much and look at this this is really my favorite ones I definitely going to use this as a font um, really amazing really with the gold elements wow I want to make these old books too love these old books and nice elements in it enjoy this book really carved really amazing and some in uh, just in black just in white and this is with color this is how it explains cutting out this one I thought that I, <laughs> I thought I printed it out myself too so it will be easy to follow what teeny mint with all these cut out love it and then yeah I printed out these two more times but this one was a little bigger so I cut off this edge but it's still useful but really love that and more tags to find more to come so all you see this is all you are gonna get in this big pack it's a bundle it's a library bundle and all that you see what I am going to show what I what yeah I show you right at this time <laughs> it's all in the pack so I believe there were were uh, 33 items in it so it's a lot so I put a link below if you are interesting uh, in the same kit so but I really love this okay so yeah now it's time to start yay stay tuned and see what I'm going to do with it thanks for watching bye bye so I was cutting out first my journaling pages and I thought well let's film a little so you can see what I am doing with all of this so I first cut it out the front I definitely going to use this at the front because I really love this image so I kept this away 
so I will know what the size of it, what the size of the elder one will going to be. So I I have something in my mind, but well, normally some things will just go with the flow, and the papers will tell me what to do, and normally that will works fine with me. And sometimes, yeah, the, the, the thing that I have in my mind will not turn out how it supposed to be, was in my head, uh, but it's just, yeah, and I don't know if, if you have that the same thing, but yeah, sometimes the project just turn out not the way you want it, but better even. Okay, so these are the first one, and I noticed that this one is bigger than the other one because I know that I definitely know that Tina do some uh, front and back work. So I definitely think that I needed to point out first the A and then the B sides. I did that. Um, earlier one so I thought these were all the same but they aren't so I am going to see how I can fix that or I pointed out some new one because I all pointed it out in the same uh, size but well I think I will manage that um, anyway so that I've done and uh, these I will leave it because I don't know exactly yet what I'm going to do with it then it's time to cut all my tags and pockets. So yeah, let's do that too with a nice music or the background. Okay, I cut out first these and then I am going to glue them down on, on the back of this. Let me first cut it before I glue it not properly. So I have a nice background. So yeah, it was easier to do that uh, in one time. So I really recommend that you first print it out this piece and then you put it back in the printer and then print out this one. So if you cut these out, you have already this nice background. But it's really no big deal because now I'm going to glue this all down. Like so. And I'm going to use all nice to the edges so I have less to cut. And do this all and then let it dry. And then I'm going to cut them all out. I'm going to smooch them. And then I have very nice sturdy cords. With a nice background. So I think these will all fit nicely. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to cut them out. And I think I'm going to smooch them with my vintage photo. So I will put this already. Okay, start it! Mm -hmm. Alright, and then I cut out my first tags. I really, they are look amazing with this bag. But now that I glue them down and cut them out, they are really nice and sturdy. So I am not unhappy with my fix. Not printed it out. Why do I? Because I really like sturdy cards. So yeah, that's the first one. And let's dig them in a bag, a basket and get some more. <laughs> so far so good. I printed, oh, I not printed out. <laughs> I cut out all of my book tags, my tags, and these I also glue them down so they are sturdier. But, um, so yeah, that is that for the tags, plenty. I also cut out this box, it was a box, <laughs> I noticed it. And uh, I really love it, how it turns out. And you can close this down, put a nice string underneath. It's not that 
dirty, but uh, it will close. So if you have some nice gift or some nice medicine to give to someone as a joke, and this will be perfect. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, so the next thing is to see what the pages are going to be. Um, but I will stop for the day because I'm going to shop with my daughter. Alright! <laughs> Till next time! Alright, the next step I do mostly, if I cut out my, my cards, then I will um, search for things what I like to use. And um, so I go to my stuff and I get a little idea. Well, let me first... I grab a basket normally and um, just find some things that perhaps will be nice to put in a, a journal. And um, a little flat rose, uh, flowers and just um, flat things. Um, just choose anything what you have in your stash and I well, can't tell you most of these things are from Donna, a very dear friend of mine. And I picked out a few items which uh, I love to use. So yeah, that is that is just one basket that I will uh, leave in front of me so I will notice that I want to put some things in. And then I got the idea to put some blue in it. Um, the papers are really brown. So I thought this needs a color with it. So I picked out all my uh, lace and ribbons in the color white, cream, brown and blue. So I put this all in the basket and that I will keep in front of me too. And so yeah, my table is very busy <laughs> right uh, at now, but love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. so that in mind then I also yeah I also um, the grabbed some seam binding put in the basket too and what else oh yeah I have some um, how you call these these yeah these big doilies what I use for bakery and I stained them in blue well just two but I can use these and I printed out some um, some of these um, nice things. I call these um, glaz, glaz, glossin, glassin. Well, anyway, I printed out some in blue and in blue prints, and um, so I will use those too. I think it will be lovely. And I have some. Of the old book pages also left so also nice to use okay so that is the start search to your things and grab them all in a basket so they will uh, be inside of you and then just go along go along with the pages and see what happens and put as many as you can in it <laughs> that's the way of making a junk journal okay so let's see yeah let's see how it turns out Okay, so far so good. What do I have? Um, I looked for some nice papers that will fit with the color. And so I choose this um, beige color linen. And I choose this creme color, which I uh, cut out with my Martha Stewart on each side. I think that fits lovely with this project. Uh, these are the leftovers. Perhaps I can glue them in the middle or something. I have some more leftovers. These I also uh, fold them in half. Then of course the Victoria Design pages. These are the four smaller ones. And then I have six uh, one size bigger. And I created all the all the other pages uh, the same size as the bigger the biggest one if that makes sense of course so i have the bigger pages from victoria designs the smaller pages from victoria designs uh, then i have cut out these pages and i kept these this on it so it will be a nice tuck spot these i have eight also 
and then I fold a few pages from Victoria Designs in half and made them small um, a small page uh, in so that will come in too so yeah now it's see if, if it if it if it's enough so I will um, yeah I think I'm further going to see uh, how much signatures I want to make mm -hmm. and so these are the biggest ones one two three definitely four these are just backups mm -hmm. so definitely four signatures and I will keep these for reserve mm -hmm. and then I go forward to collect them all and see how thick they already are so that is what I'm going to do next so for example um, if I am satisfied with this uh, first signature then you go through it see if you are satisfied and if you then are, if you are satisfied, then you can see, and oh, just a tip, I always like, well, you see, this is not my thing, that small, small. So I want to change this to, let's, let's just grab another piece of this, oh wait, just first a small one. Then a large one, and then at the end, I want to use a envelope, perhaps. Well, it's well, I also can glue it in. So it's it's optional. But at the end, I want to uh, end with a, a large one. So if I sew them in, I can use my whole page. If I end with a small one then it's not very handy so when I end with a, a large one and then you really get a good shake then you really want this everything oh, tight in the middle and then you see that these are not all the same as the front so that is the case when you are making uh, signatures because these are not at the same uh, side at the same beginning as your first page of course so that is why I want to do this first and then do the decoration on the on each page so I can cut them in the right angle so I will grab some clips like this put one on here and then just use a bone folder or anything that fits in here so you can put these as tight as possible to the end of the insert and then just grab a clem and put it on and now what you've got is these coming out so now you can nicely cut along so they will be shorter and equal as the other one now stay focused if you have fold something um, so please watch where you want to cut because you don't want to cut this fold line because otherwise you don't have to fold it so that is what you have to be sure of so yeah, so I think I am going to just cut along here, just a, just along this fold line. And then my first signature is ready and then I can put them all out. And then I think it's the sewing time. And I never did that before, I, I'm going to try it out to sew some lace on the edge of the pages or sew a nice... Um, sewing <laughs> not sew sew uh, sewing <laughs> a nice uh, pocket uh, on a page so that is what i'm going to do first of course after i made my signatures in the right um, size each one okay so go along okay so i have been ready with sorting out my signatures there are going to be four signatures and um, i cut them all 
pretty much good and it's no big deal if there's something out because there is going to be stocking out more and now I'm just grabbing my sewing machine and see each signature what I want to sew in um, I pretty much going to sew in sewing some lace in it first time I'm going to ever do sewing with my machine <laughs> so a new experience oh why do you excited? it <laughs> okay that went for the first time pretty well um, so I sewed on this burlap pocket and on each side this cream color lace then with the tuck spot I can glue this down afterwards um, I did some seam binding and then with a picker I smooched well not smooched <laughs> I did a little tuck under the needle so it gets a little wrinkled wow I really like that and and then on the other side I sewed another piece of lace so yeah this is cool so I think well, I think this is for now enough and yeah so I'm continuing then I put on each one see what I want to do on it so I want to do on this two a little decoration lace on the side and so I go on and on yeah cool but you also you also can oh this is also nice something like this behind here Ooh, also cool but anyway loads of possibilities to do so yeah let's go on and I don't want you to see me soon because my sewing machine is right behind me because there is no place and you will not see me with with on top um, filming so but it's just and I don't uh, use a special needle I just grab my uh, sewing machine and I tried it on so hopefully it work with these this paper too all right cool <laughs> okay my first signature is ready at least I think but what do you think I really like the size cool this is awesome so yeah it's just just go along see what you got you got a pocket and yeah it's just just use your stuff and sew some pockets in some lace in and just go along and of course afterwards I can attach more and more and this is, can be a nice large pocket really cool pocket here and I really love this one gosh this is so cool and um, yeah it goes on and on and I really like how it turns out again a nice burlap pocket and the doily and look at this amazing could have been on the other side the same too perhaps for the next signature and yeah just some leftover suit on and then here we are again with the tuck spot very 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 cool so yeah I will keep this together and just go to the next one and then I think afterwards it would look amazing on the side what do you think awesome cool okay let's continuing sewing <laughs> okay now the pages are done I will put all the pages away for a sec because now it's time to make tags a lot a lot of text because there is so much place and I want to add some writable pages in some letters so yes yeah, search for everything you have in your stash use it all and first I'm going to start with cutting out some nice dies and then put some nice papers on I already asked a few more papers for Victoria designs with butterflies and um, nice nice vintage images from uh, they all are from Victoria Designs and I will all put the link below uh, the description box if I all have them and can find them but I will do my very best but so yeah fun time 
Okay, so far so good. <laughs> With collecting again beautiful items. Um, I asked Tien, Tine from Victoria Designs some nice images extra. So. Um, with some nice, I really love the images of old women. Not they are old, but old images from women. And the butterflies. So I asked uh, Tini some extra uh, sheets for some tags. And so I can use these. And then uh, I cut out a few butterflies. And they need in here. I think I will add them on tags also these are not from Victoria Designs but they are from Lemoncraft uh, the sheet uh, I cut out these things um, these elements and they are from the library kit then I asked some sheets with music notes on it I already cut some out of this pile of tags and um, this is not a tag but yeah I pretty much cut out a lot I saw that I had some um, glazine oh, bag well these bags and um, these also and I think I've got these from someone who, who sent these to me and I really appreciate this I wish I can I know where to find these because these are awesome in journals. Um, so I find also some uh, bakery uh, paper. So I can fold some pockets for myself. I used a die to make an envelope. Also with the glassine. Here are the music notes. Anyway, I have so much so I can make loads of tags. These I cut out this morning in all different shapes and these are from the Creolis. Um, I will put the link below. I use these two and these two shapes. So two different shapes and in two different sizes. So I cut a lot of them. <laughs> I also cut um, a bag from the um, to make my own glossine bag. And I don't know where it is, but I cut I cut one out to do to try it again because I did I did try this one before, but I have to confess after that I did not use it that much. So I thought, well, give it another try. So yeah, so loads of stuff to put in the album and. Um, so now finally I have lots of things to do and I printed out a few extra sheets for, from Victoria Designs because she has so many nice things and um, printed out in different shapes. Really like this blue, fits perfectly, that's also from Victoria Designs. So. Um, this one too, that's from the same collection. So yeah, this with the blue butterfly. I really think that adding uh, some blue in it with the brown fits perfectly. So it's a long way to go, but love that. Oh, and I bought, oh, here is the glassine thing what I cut out. All right, so I can make my own glossine bag. All right, cool. Anyway, um, I did buy this uh, notebook because I always like put some papers in for the lines already on it. So also nice to use in a journal. And yeah, I think I've got it from now. So yeah, I will put some music on and then I will go with the flow and make my pages nice and full all right so i do not put um put them in in the album because i just go to work one by one 
putting things in. So let's assume that I'm start with this one. Put the other three away. And I just go with the flow. And I just uh, go work with them before I, I glue them in. Perhaps, oh, this one was stuck. Perhaps it will get too thick and then I can decide it to leave a page out or in or I can change and then when it's perfect then I will sew them in. Alright, okay, fun time! <laughs>